Welcome everyone to German Tour Reviews. Today we're going to have a bit of a mini review with a set of Klemschia cam clamps. The Klemschia clamps are designed to clamp delicate and soft surfaces. They are most useful in woodworking applications, but can be applied to practically any situation where you want to fine tune the amount of clamping force on a surface that may be damaged by more conventional clamps. The style of clamp differs from the traditional wood clamp style in that it applies pressure directly to the workpiece from the pivot point of the cam. The more traditional wood clamp cantilevers the force from the screws outward to the end of the clamping arms. The Klemschia clamp was invented by carpenter Ernst Dunemann in 1914, with mass production starting in 1918, making this product produced continuously in Germany for over 100 years. There are many companies that make this style cam clamp and there is nothing really exceptionally special about the Klemschia clamps. I think part of the reason that the Klemschia branded cam clamps have remained popular is because they are still able to com competitively produce them, even in the face of increasing globalization. Depending on the size, you can generally pick these up for around $20, with the larger sizes commanding a bit more, of course. This pricing is pretty much on par of that from a domestic made unit. A lot of people end up making their own because it only takes some wood, a steel or aluminum bar, and a couple of screws to build one. For projects that require dozens of clamps, this is the more economical way to go. Let's look at the different sizes and styles of the Klemschia clamp. There are two main styles that are determined by the length of the clamp. The first style uses a fixed clamp on one end and a sliding clamp on the other, connected together with a galvanized steel bar. The sizes in this range are from 200 millimeters to 800 millimeters, available in 200 millimeter increments. There's also another style used for the larger clamps over 1,000 millimeters that contains sliding parts on both ends. These sizes are available in 1,000 and 1,200 millimeter lengths. The throat or reach of the clamps varies from 100 millimeters to 200 millimeters depending on the model chosen. Now looking at the design characteristics and construction of the clamp, you will see everything appears to be held together with some sort of roll pin with two on each jaw and one on the cam hinge. There is a rivet at the end of the galvanized steel bar that prevents the movable jaw from sliding off. A slot has been added on the movable jaw that allows the cam lever to apply force directly to the workpiece via the rounded shape of the cam. I'm not really sure of the exact species of wood here. I've seen several sites listed as birch, but the official Klemschia site lists it as hornbeam. The hornbeam species of wood is known for being a very hard yet very flexible and lightweight wood. The pads on the jaws are made of cork and appear to be glued on. The cork material should not mar any delicate material when clamping, but also has the effect of absorbing some of the clamping force, so some fine adjustments may be necessary after the initial clamp. The main advantage to this style of clamp is the overall weight, which is much less significant than that of clamps of the other styles in this size. This can be especially important when you're clamping something where the clamp is suspended in air for long periods of time. It could cause the clamp to loosen over time purely due to gravity and the heavy weight of the clamp. You can see a couple of these type of applications from the photos on their website. You can use these for things other than woodworking jobs. I recently had an application where I had to compress a spring behind a thin piece of aluminum that was concerned about bending or deforming it from a typical C-clamp. It probably would have worked just fine with a rubber padded F-clamp, but this is the first clamp I found at the time. Sort of an atypical application, but it worked out alright. While these clamps have some serious holding power, what makes them especially nice for delicate work is that you can very precisely dial in the clamping pressure. The profile of the cam is sort of a logarithmic application of force as you approach the maximum clamping pressure for the current position. I used a force gauge to kind of demonstrate this. The negative about these type of clamps is that eventually the cam mechanism will wear out, but I would guess that this will be in the thousands of actuations. Klemschia does offer a replacement movable jaw, so that might be something to consider instead of throwing it away. It would have been nice to see the wood with some kind of preservative or varnish to protect it a bit, but I see this omission more of a cost savings decision to keep the price of the clamps cheaper, as finishing wood on an industrial scale can get quite expensive. I'm pretty sure most of the intended audience wouldn't care either way. Hopefully you enjoyed that mini review of the Klemschia cam clamps. Check out the link in the description to the full review. There are also some affiliate links in the description if you feel the urge to pick any of these units up. Have a good week and I'll catch you guys next time.